Hey, Grammarly. How are y'all doing today? What's up, Grammarly? What's up, family? If you are new to our channel, welcome. Yeah. I am Janice Gross. And I am Jonathan Gross. And we are The, the Gross, Gross Way. Way. <laughs> we have been asked to basically do some marriage talks on our channel. And I couldn't agree with that more. We have definitely did the podcasting thing for a while. Mm -hmm. We've had several other uh, ways that we have sat and did these little marriage chats. But it's always based on what we want. And so we actually were given some topics and some questions to answer. So we're going to make it a Q&A thing. Yes. The first question comes from... Instagram. Instagram. Before we start though, please like, and subscribe, subscribe, turn on bell notifications. Turn on those bell notifications. We try to upload videos at least two, three times a week. Yes. This will be included in that one of these a week. And we upload shorts every day. We would love for you to be a part of our family. Yes. So on Instagram, I got a comment that I answered, but I want I felt like it was a great question to ask answer here as well. The question was, so you never fight. <laughs> I'm going to read what I told them and then we'll elaborate. Let's go. We don't always agree. No, but we don't fight. He's not a confrontational person and doesn't automatically indulge in aggressive conflict. Right. Myself, however, had to unlearn the aggressive hostile behavior I was taught and learn what peace looks like. So, yes, when we first got married, we did because of my communication style drowning out his own. But for the last eight to nine years, we have practiced not just effective communication, but ways to help ourselves when we feel we won't be able to maintain that type of communication due to our emotions in the moment. For instance, when I see that my voice is getting louder and I feel myself about to say something I shouldn't, I tell him I need a minute and I walk away. It only takes literally a second to realize that he is not my enemy and I need to treat him as such. Literally a minute. I come back more level-headed and ready to find a solution with him. It's all about knowing yourself, the things you can't control, and learn to control them. Self-realization is the key. Yes. Self-realization oh is the key. One thing um, I've learned, remember I mentioned about the uh, definition of anger? Mm -hmm. Anger, a wise man said this, anger is a punishment you give yourself for someone else's actions. Mm -hmm. So when you are uh, angry about something, you're dealing with the emotion first. Mm -hmm. And once you put that energy off on someone else, um, that's not communicating effectively because if they're going to receive it the wrong way, then here we go. Now we're fighting. We're fighting about how the message is being relayed instead of handling the problem. Mm -hmm. now, I mean, there's a problem, obviously, that made you mad, but the anger is what I'm looking at first before I look at anything else. So if I'm focusing on your anger, the problem is never going to be resolved because now to my, oh, now you're disrespectful, you're going to respect me, different. my mm -hmm. ego is going to jump in, and I'm going to dismiss the right thing to say back to you because of how you came to me. Yeah. And a lot of times in our relationship, I, I struggle to accountability. And my, me not taking accountability wasn't me allowing me to let my ego get in front of me and not accepting the fact that I did something that harmed our marriage. Because at the end of the day, we're the ones who's, who's are losing out on it. And honestly, it would always be something small. Mm -hmm. I mean, because Jonathan is just um, an amazing man. And so if it was something that he did to upset me, it just, it was probably something super, super tiny. Like he left the milk out on the counter again after I asked him to stop doing that, right? Mm -hmm. But because. He doesn't know how to be like you right. I was wrong, my bad, I'm sorry. He wants to like debate like not debate about it, but he wants to know like why did I think this was wrong? It's really not a big deal to him. See right? What you understand, yo. And and now I'm not worried about that milk. Now I'm worried about the fact that you can't even acknowledge my feelings about the milk. Right. And now it's turned into a completely different conversation. Yep. Um, a few of the things that I, f I feel like has helped us is one, realizing ourselves, who we are, mm -hmm. like what are our triggers for certain things, what calms us down, what gets us to this place, what gets us to that place. Recognizing and digging deep into who we are has helped us to recognize when things are about to happen or the way we're about to handle something mm -hmm. isn't about to be productive right. so that we can step away and come back. Like I said in the text, more level-headed. Um, another thing is recognizing that, yeah, this person may never have felt the way you feel about it, but it doesn't matter. I'm married to you. So how you feel about it should be most important. Mm -hmm. No, Sarah, Sue, and Jill may not feel the way I felt, but I I'm the one that you're married to. No, Ben, Jack, and Jim may not feel the way you felt, but at the end of the day, you're the one I'm married to. I need to be... Yep. Considerate of your feelings. I don't need to be worried about 
how nobody else would feel this way but you. It does that doesn't that does not matter. And at the end of the day, also communicating when you have a problem so that when there's a different problem, you're not covering, trying to cover that problem with a problem you had two weeks ago. That too yeah, that's communication gap. is something that really has gotten to me in our relationship where he'll hold on to things mm -hmm. and not say this was an issue. But then when I have an issue, now he's bringing up the issue you had with me. No, that's not the time for you to bring up the issue you had with time. me. That's right. That the the time? time was when you had the issue with me yep. initially. Yep. And so he's had to learn to speak his mind. And But I've also had to learn to give him the floor to speak his mind. Yeah. It's like, you know, you don't want to create communication gaps. Mm -hmm. Communication gaps is something that you really don't want to do. You want to take the, take the problem head on. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, but not out of anger, out of understanding, out of trying to resolve something for your marriage. Because once you continue to keep fighting, it's going to be another, it's going to be repeat offenses. Yeah. It's going to be a repeat offense in a different kind of way. And your anger's going to build up even more. And you feel like, we can't get along together. We can't do this. We can't do that. And that is a result of not taking care of the problems, the obstacles in your marriage. So yes, yeah, you are, you are, you are so right on that. I mean, just really just taking that part in, into place and just really saying, hey, I need to communicate on point, not um, sandwich all my problems in last week, before mm -hmm. last, because this is you with me, and this is me, I'm way over here, mm -hmm. and now I'm screaming out because I'm frustrated about last week, week before last. Yeah. That's not fair to you to do that. And I, I, I also think that recognizing that I am a more aggressive communicator, he is a more passive communicator, so how can we both be more assertive, mm -hmm. right? And I think that I am, I am, I am, I am the type of person to, I, when I feel something, I want to just like, I'm pouring it out and I'm not realizing there's two people in this conversation, which ends up making him shut down. And so that's something that I've had to work on is recognizing that I need to give, we need to create a safe space for each other. Yes. Right. So my safety is my feelings being made valid and heard and understood. I, 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 that's one of my biggest pet peeves, being gaslit, being made to feel like I'm crazy for feeling how I feel. Mm -hmm. And his safety is not being dim, like, not being beat down with my words and with mm -hmm. my tone and, and giving an opportunity to express himself. When I do that, when I give him mm -hmm. an opportunity to express himself and I don't come like a bull in the china shop, he is so much more expressive. Mm -hmm. Like over the years, he's like talked so much more than he talked in the beginning of our marriage because I give him the floor. I, I literally, I would think things in my head, but I will literally, while he's talking, tell myself, be quiet. He is talking, let him finish his thought. And I look at him, I make eye contact and I give him that safe space to express himself. Mm -hmm. Especially with men, I feel like a lot of men have all, have, they, they have struggled to find that safe space in their entire life, over the years of their yeah. life. And so then they get into a home with a woman who isn't creating that safe space still. And so they just shut down and they act out yeah. instead. Yeah, what happens in, in that place is that, you know, you're dealing with thoughts and you're dealing with emotions. Mm -hmm. So one person is going to be emotional about the situation and one person is going to try to gain thought on it. And when, when two people are emotional in a situation, it's not good. Like you say, you find a safe space and it's going away. So I always got to think in mind, like, if you are in a position where one of you, one of you, one of you are thinking about what's happening, one person is emotional, you got to say, okay, every time I say something, I'm pushing a button. So let me not just say anything and let them get their emotions out. So that way, when all the emotional energy is out, the thoughts come behind it, some constructive criticism towards me that I can take in and be, okay, I, I, I invite what you're saying to me and understand what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. So it's not a fight. It's a resolution to a behavior situation. It's a resolution to a, a trauma response mm -hmm. on what you've been dealing with all your life. You know, however your 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 your, your parents dealt with things, you, you carry you carry on the same conflict resolution uh, mm -hmm. patterns. You know, you want to take those patterns down and break those patterns down so you can uh, not fight and just deal with the problem itself and uh, and move forward with it. You know? I think also uh, one thing that you know the generations before us didn't do that. I really encourage people to do now is. You know, find that one person or that one couple that you can trust. I'm going to be honest with you. There's been times where I've been able to call that one friend mm -hmm. and get it all out. And that way I can go to Jonathan with a more level head because I got it all out with her. And one time I was so angry. And she, at the end of the conversation, she was like, you all right now? Good. I'm glad you called me because there's no way you could have taken that that my that thought th th those feelings the way you were expressing yourself to him and had a productive conversation so i'm glad you got it out now go have a productive conversation with your husband and it first of all this person needs to be 
somebody that's not biased. They're not for you. They're not for him. They're for your marriage. Yes. Because if you're wrong, they need to be able to tell you you're wrong. And if you're not wrong, they need to be able to tell you you're right. Like at the end of the day, they need to be for your marriage, not for you and not for him. Yes. When I side, I'm not side with nobody. I'm in the side of your marriage. Mm -hmm. They need to be God fearing and they need to be leading their own life the way they're preaching it. Yes. And if the, as yes. long as those things align, I think having at least one person, not a bunch of people, because what you don't want is a bunch of opinions in your mind, in your head, yes. mixing with yours. Yep. So one person that you can go to and you can confide in that can give mm -hmm. you that godly guidance because God puts people on this earth to guide us in his way. He can't necessarily like literally physically do it. Mm -hmm. So he puts people on this earth for us to go in his direction that can guide us and lead us in his direction. Yeah, definitely so having them is helpful. Having that is yeah. so helpful. Because it keeps you staying on the plane of God's idea of marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, God's idea of marriage is not us fussing and fighting and throwing stuff at each other. No. Uh, getting off of work afraid to walk into the house because no. I'm, I'm ready to retaliate for what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. You don't, you, that, that's not God's idea of marriage that you're not seeing eye to eye. This this is your, your life partner. This mm -hmm. is the person that, that you're supposed to take down your armor with and, and, and get deep and within with. They can see your scars and love them and help you develop them scars. It's of making the making the wound deeper. Yeah, you know and that's, that's that's what you don't want in a marriage. You want you want to be in a marriage or, or be in a relationship. Well, in conflict resolution and, and fighting, the wounds just get deeper and deeper and deeper. And now you're afraid that hey, we cannot coexist together. And, and, and the, more, the more the more the more less fighting you do, and the more and more disagreements you have in resolving those. It lasts a whole lot longer. Well, and I, I need people to stop thinking that healthy marriages, you know, it, the fights are, are part of healthy marriages. No, mm -hmm. I don't. I do think that two people can exist and respect each other's boundaries mm -hmm. and expect respect each other's feelings and not take it to a disrespectful, toxic type mm -hmm. of of relationship and communication. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I am never going to to okay toxic behavior. I'm just not. That's just not what I'm here for. Because at the end of the day. I think that when you love someone, there needs to be a respect for them that you put before everything else and you put before your own feelings. And I think that, yes, it's very normal to be angry with someone, frustrated with someone, um, annoyed with someone. I'll tell Jonathan all the time, you are really frustrating me right now. Like, I want you to know you're really frustrated. We, we work together every day mm -hmm. and, and we live together every day and we parent together every day and we make decisions together every day. We mm -hmm. co-pilot everything in our lives together every single day. So, yes, there are times where my perfect man gets on my nerves oh, man. You know what <laughs> and I get on his nerves. Mm -hmm. But I like how you express it, though, when you're getting frustrated about something. I see you walk away, take a deep breath. I just and walk back. away. And, and that just tells me, hey, you know what? Like, like she don't want to fight. Yeah. She's frustrated, and I, I, I can't, I can't keep on pinching her to keep making her mad. Yeah. I need to realize what I'm doing, and you just by doing that makes me realize what I'm doing. I ain't stop. And sometimes when we're on the phone, I'll just hang up. Now I don't, <laughs> I don't hang up because you don't want to scream at home. And, right? Because I don't want to hurt his feelings or disrespect yeah. him, or even especially do anything. Usually, if we're on the phone, I'm either out and. He's at home with the kids, or I'm at home with the kids, and he's out getting something from the store, or whatever. So if we're on the phone and I got the kids in front of me, especially with me raising women, I I'm not about to sit up here and do this with you. I'm hanging up, and then I will text him. I don't just hang up because dismissing the situation, acting like you know you gonna table it. No, we're not gonna table it till nothing. We are gonna talk about this right now and get this over with. I do text him. I text him and be like, this is you know. How I'm feeling. And I'll be honest with you, more than likely, I'm going to text him and I'm going to erase everything I wrote and rewrite it because more than likely, I'm texting him in the same tone that I was going to, to use when I was on the phone with him. Mm -hmm. So I erase it and I, I see what I'm doing. I can see it. So I erase it and I rewrite it in a way that he can receive it. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of times when we feel like our spouses aren't listening to us, sometimes it's the way we're carrying the message. Mm -hmm. The message is the message and it don't need to change. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But how you're carrying the message, that makes a world of a difference. Carry it out of concern and, and support love. for your marriage. You know, this is not supporting our marriage. This right. You always, you always want to talk about concern about your marriage. That's it. That's yeah. what's going to help it grow, you know. Yeah. But I think that's, that's some good points, you know. You, you brought uh, out, yeah. Right? I, you know, I've learned a lot. I've had to heal and, un and, and unlearn. And, Me too. You know, and I, I, I have learned a lot about, like, what real peace should look like. Right. And I want to thank you for being a part of that because you have allowed me the space to to thrive in that. Mm -hmm. You have allowed me a safe space to thrive in seeing what real peace should look like, what grace should look like, what patience, kindness, and true understanding should look like. And um, I, I I appreciate you. You're welcome. I, I really I really appreciate who you've been 
the role you've played, you've played in my life these last 15 years. You're yeah, welcome, and I appreciate what you have done for me, too. You have yeah, me, I do. You, 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 you have me see self-realization of, for myself in so many ways and so many levels because mm-hmm. I've I really never been um, criticized in character. You know what I mean? About things that, that, that can be, like, enabling and making things worse, making problems worse. Mm-hmm. You made me aware of those things to know that, hey, um, you know, you need to fine-tune that. You know, so thank you for helping me out, too, as well. You know, you got me grow with them, too. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, if there is anything you would like for us to elaborate on, any other questions you may have in the realms of love, marriage, um, singleness, anything when it comes to, mm-hmm. you know, what God what God wants for all of us, and that's yeah. prosperity and love and connection with another. Yeah. Um, leave it in the comments below. We will definitely get to it. I, I really love this. This yes, is really nice. Good. It felt good to be back doing this. Yeah. Um, and, and doing it because the people really wanted it, not because we felt like we needed to give it. It's yes. because the people are asking for it, right? Yes. So if you have any other questions you'd like for us to answer, please leave down below yes. in the comments. Don't forget to like, like and, and, and subscribe. Yes. Oh, one last thing. Pray over everything. That is the best way to resolve conflict. Mm. Pray over pray everything. Pray over the reality pray that you alone, want in your marriage. Pray together. Pray for your spouse. And they will play they're praying as they're praying for you. And pray for yourself. Prayer really works. works. However, prayer works when you're in the situation that God actually chose for you to be in, that He created for you mm. to be in. Mm, that's a whole nother topic. Yes. That's a whole nother topic. Yes. When you're in a relationship, when you're in the relationship God has for you, not the one you chose for yourself, prayer works. When you're in a yeah. relationship that you chose for yourself, prayer still works. But it's, it may not work in the favor of you and your relationship. Yeah. Uh, we'll stop it. right I'll there. See y'all. See y'all later. Let's go.